all right so uh, let's concentrate okay this is a kind of theoretical problem okay so mm, let's uh, start from the a part and a part is what define the term that is your ionization potential okay define the term ionization potential so this is this is what your ionization potential i'm just going to define it ionization 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 potential or you can also call it what ionization energy potential ionization potential or you can call it what energy okay or you can call it what energy ionization energy okay you can call it what ionization potential or energy okay so now how to define this term okay so this is what the minimum energy the minimum the minimum energy okay the minimum energy required okay the minimum is re energy required to remove to remove the most loosely bounded electron the most loosely bounded electron okay that is electron in outer most electron in outer most shell electron in outer most cell electron in outer most shell from from an isolated gaseous atom from an isolated gaseous atom and and convert and convert it into a positively positively charged positively charged gaseous positively charged gaseous ion is called is called what ionization potential that is ip or ionization energy that is i or first ionization energy okay or first ionization energy first ionization energy okay that is i e again okay ie1 you can say okay so this is the definition of what your ionization potential or ionization energy now look at this definition there are few terms those are very very important and that you have to include those terms when you're writing the definition of what ionization potential or energy okay so look at this term okay so first is what most loosely bounded electron so loosely bounded electron means what the electron in outermost shell so that is very important when you are breaking something okay when you are breaking something suppose if you are breaking a wall okay if you are breaking a wall or, or or a brick okay so you will start from what from the outermost side okay so this is what you uh, you you have to you will remove the most loosely bound electron that is what electron in outermost shell from an isolated gaseous atom now this term is very important now this term is very important if you are not writing this particular term in your board examination or or whatever in your examination the, i mean this particular definition is what totally incomplete or rather i would say it is wrong okay so how what is the Im significance of this particular term term okay so let's see the significance of this particular term that okay suppose i have suppose let let's take oxygen okay let's take oxygen and let's take oxygen at okay suppose minus 200 degrees celsius okay so this oxygen is at minus 200 degrees celsius is what liquid okay because it's boiling boiling point is what minus 183 degrees celsius okay so now you you have this oxygen okay you have this oxygen okay now you have this oxygen at minus 200 degrees celsius now give some heat okay what will happen the temperature will increase and eventually the temperature will be equals to minus 183 degrees celsius and at this temperature the state change will occur so this liquid oxygen will be converted into what gaseous oxygen okay so now this oxygen is in what gaseous state but now again this is what your molecule 
this is what your oxygen molecule that is in what which is state gas is state now again you give the temp uh, give some heat okay give some energy so what will happen the temperature will again increase and temperature will increase and at some point at some point this this molecule will what this molecule will break into what oxygen atom okay this molecule will break into what oxygen atom the, these two atoms are what uh, there's some kind of bond is there and when you will give heat again this bond will break and it will be again converted into an oxygen atom now you give some heat okay now you give some heat and then this oxygen will what at some moment this oxygen is uh, will what lose electron and it will convert into what o plus plus electron now see this journey okay when you're here to here this particular heat is it uh, i mean you use this particular heat to remove an electron no this particular heat is just increasing the temperature okay whatever the heat you are giving here okay at this moment okay that is latent heat of vaporization it is just what just converting the state of the oxygen from liquid to what gas again whatever this this heat is what this heat is just converting this molecular oxygen into what this its atomic form now this particular heat is what actually used to remove this electron from an isolated gaseous atom okay so th only this this amount of heat is what used to remove an electron okay so this is your ionization energy okay this is your ionization energy so again this particular word is again very important okay that is your isolated gaseous atom okay <coughs> now now i am going to the second part represent it in the form of an equation in which unit it is measured okay so i'm just uh, how to uh, just take anyone like oxygen okay so this is what your oxygen and you are giving some kind of ionization energy okay yeah so here an arrow you can add this ionization energy okay and it will convert into what o plus plus electron and as you are removing the first electron you can also say that i e 1 you can also say that i e 1 okay so this is what your ionization energy all right so this is represented in the form of an equation okay in which unit it is measured so what is the unit here so unit of ionization energy unit of ionization energy is what is it electron volt per atom you can use it this is what electron volt per atom this this is this stands for what electron volt this stands for what electron volt and this stands for what one and one electron volt uh, you can say that this is what your electron volt and remember one electron volt equals to what 1.6 into 10 is power what minus 19 joule okay this this uh, I, I think you are aware about this this particular unit that is what joule okay and uh, this is what electron volt per atom or there is one si unit also there that is what kilozoule that is what kilozoule per mole so th this this one is your what this one is your what si unit okay si unit okay now now you come to the third part that is your c part what do you understand by successive ionization energy all right so successive ionization energy let's take a, again the example of oxygen suppose i'm um, i'm um, just oxygen is a, you know eight electron it has so just you are giving some ie ionization energy and you are just removing the first electron so it is what ie one and it is what o positive and plus what electron so this this energy is what your ie one again this oxygen you just removed one electron so it's still this particular oxygen o plus has what seven electrons so you can remove one more electron all right so this is what o plus and again you give some energy so this will be what your i e2 this is what your i e2 and this will again form o plus two and plus what again electron again is this oxygen plus two has some electron six electron so you can again give some energy that is what o plus two and this, this is what your i e okay this is what ie3 and th this is what it, it will form what o plus 3 and plus what electron so this these ie1 these ie1 ie2 ie2 ie3 ie3 these these are what successive ionization energy of what for oxygen so these you can you can call it what successive ionization successive ionization energy for what isolated oxygen atom isolated isolated oxygen atom or ion okay all right now now one more thing that 
you know, it is easier to remove this electron from here rather this this one. I mean, competitively, it is more difficult because there is some kind of positive charge is here. Okay, yeah, I'm just giving you an example here. Okay, so let's suppose this is what your oxygen. So oxygen is what here again. What here? How many electrons? Eight electron and eight proton. This is your O plus. This is what is seven electron and eight proton. And this is what O plus two. This is what you again six electron and eight proton. So in this case, the hold is what. Your hold is very high, and if the hold is very high, it is very difficult to remove this electron from here. All right, and if it is difficult to remove an electron, the, your successive ionization is what increase in magnitude. So always remember, this is this is what your I E one is minimum. Then it is what I E two, and then it is what I E three. Okay, I E three like that. Okay, and so on. Okay, so hope you understand this concept.